All right, quick video today. We'll try and keep this camera a little bit steadier. Um, this is a Sony PlayStation 1 SCPH5501. Controller ports were not working. Um, I tried multiple controllers. I tried different set of controller ports that I knew were working and nothing. So it comes down to two things that could be wrong with this at this point. This one's already been fixed, so we'll jump into what the first one could be. Zoom in a bit here. So that fuse right there, labeled 15, that is going to be your first issue. Check that in continuity mode, see what you get. If you need to pull it off the board, check it, you can. If that fuse tests good, we're going to move over to these freshly soldered on Zenier diodes. Those are going to be your next issue. So soldering, I guess it's, it could be a little bit better, but with how small these are, let me just get that bag there. So there they are. In comparison to a q-tip so if we come down here like that's those are tiny 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 diodes they are 3.9 volt 200 milliwatt diodes so if you take these off the board and test them you should get open line reading from if you have your positive lead on the negative side which the negative side will have the gray stripe on it you should get open line or pretty close if you're getting on on the old ones when I took them off the original ones, I was getting like 35 mega ohms, um, which is quite a bit. That's that's damn near open line. Um, on the new ones here, it does read straight open line. If you flip them around and you test from the negative, which again, negative lead on the side with the gray stripe, um, and then positive on the other side, you will get about 8.5 mega ohms. Um, if you get any other reading at all, like let me jump back here and try to grab this guy. So this one, which it's not going to zoom, or it's not going to focus, this one right here was reading 0 0.9 ohms across both sides, so we know that one was bad. These I got off eBay. I can put the link in the description. I paid $8 for 20 of them. My suggestion is you already have these off the board. That's the way you're going to test them. You're already going to be in here replacing a bad one. Replace them all. Because if the one has failed, these consoles are super old. If one failed, the other one could fail tomorrow, could fail next week, next year. I would just replace them all while you're in there. So, um, again, 3.9 volt, 200 megawatt SMD Zenier diode. Um, that's, that's really all I have here. I've tested this console. It is working again. Um, but definitely get some ceramic tip tweezers for the soldering because you are going <laughs> to you're going to struggle a bit if you don't have something good to grab a hold of those uh, just using um, some really tacky flux just is not enough because of how small these are one little bump and it's going to stick to your solder iron so um, but that's that's really all I'm going to have for this video just wanted to put some information out there on these diodes because it took me forever to find a um, an active link, the data sheet, everything that we needed to get these fixed. So I'll go ahead and post this video. I will post uh, links to the stuff that I'm using, um, links to the diodes. So I think that's all I've got for this one. Thanks for watching.